I believe that by using a cheat trainer, I can keep running, you know, hopefully God willing for the rest of my life. It's, uh, I, I am getting aches and pains and, and they're not debilitating yet, but it's, but they're getting worse and worse to the point where they are going to be debilitating soon in terms of uh, not allowing me to run. And I, you know, I've just had a wake up call and now I'm thinking, you know, besides having my athletes run on this, I better start running on it if I want to be running a year from now. I won the New York City Marathon three times, 1980, 81, and 82, and won the Boston Marathon in, in 1982, and also uh, was a, a track runner, had American records at 5,000 and 10,000. Uh, the Oregon Project is the name for a Nike-sponsored program that has a goal of developing American athletes to be competitive at the long distances from the, the 5,000 meters up through the marathon. The G-Trainer is a very important part of what we're trying to do. And the G-Trainer is something that's allowing me to probably add somewhere in the neighborhood of 15% more training volume at the least for athletes. And for some up to 20 to 25% more running miles and keeping them just as healthy, perhaps even healthier than they, than they were at the reduced mileage. I know that using the G trainer is, has already and will continue to reduce the total number of injuries that we have. Absolutely. It's impossible to take time off for every single soreness that you get. And you know, the you know, therapists and so forth will say that, but training, you know, to be successful at an international level, it's a fine line. And the people that are the most successful, the people that you're running against are taking chances. In their training, they have aches and pains, and they and they will try and train through those. And it's a guessing game about whether you're going to get away with it sometimes. And the G trainer really allows us a lot more control. It gives us that ability to, you know, to continue training that athlete with no pain. If there's no pain before, during, or after an exercise session, you have not caused any damage. And, you know, my feeling is that even though someone can't run outside without pain, if they can run in the G trainer and they have no pain and they're not sore afterwards, I know that we haven't done any damage. And then, in fact, I firmly believe that they actually rehab faster. I believe that a lot of injuries are shortened if you can find a way to train through them without any pain. I absolutely know that. I have often used an an analogy or an illustration concept for athletes. I asked them, when you go to the starting line of a race and you are going up against a runner and that runner has been running 120 miles a week and you've been running 90 miles a week and you're both healthy and you've both had good workouts, who do you think has the advantage? It's pretty simple. The guy or gal that's worked harder, done more, volume, and still had the same quality workouts will nine times out of ten win. That's simple. And the volume part is so important. Now, unfortunately, we all have, I think, genetically or as a matter of our training, how we've developed, we are limited in terms of how much volume we can do. Every athlete knows at a certain point, if they do more mileage, they're going to start to get injured or their quality is going to go down. All of a sudden with the G trainer, it really gives us for the first time the ability to do some other form of cross training, which has always been kind of the holy grail that athletes, distance runners have looked for. What other form of cross training can they do to supplement their normal outside running that will allow them to get those benefits without getting injured? And the G trainer provides for the first time the ability to do that exactly. It's a running specific motion. You're just at a less weight. It's as if you passed a magic wand over someone and you drop their weight from 130 to 120 pounds and now they can just run that much more mileage, they can run that much faster with that much less pain. And I believe that the total volume is, in, is increased and it's not in a linear fashion. You know, if you drop somebody's weight by 10%, can they do 10% more mileage? You know, I, I, I think that it's an exponential 
increase that you can drop somebody's weight by 10% and perhaps do 15 to 20% more mileage than you normally would have. And so all of a sudden it gives you the ability to do higher volumes of training, getting that cardiovascular effect, getting the turnover effect, and you're actually training harder. And you know, I've used it, you know, rule of thumb that I use with my runners is that if a, a runner could run normally 100 miles a week outside, I tell them that they can run maybe 80 miles a week outside, plus 30 on the G trainer. They get a total of 110. The total impact, negative aspects of running are only equivalent to the 100 outside. But they've got that extra 10 miles a week of running cardiovascularly, which is gonna improve them. And I believe neuromuscularly doing the faster turnover, running the 30 miles, which they usually will run faster on the G-turn than they would outside, that they are actually working on their turnover and their speed better than if they had run that 30 miles at just the slow, relaxed, aerobic type efforts that they would have run those miles at outside. So I really believe that it gives us an opportunity to do more volume and do more quality. And when you step to the line and you know your volume is up and your quality is up, you know you're gonna run faster. Yeah, I mean that, you know, that right there, that's in a nutshell, that's what it's all about.